Hey guys, welcome to Waste Not Wednesday. We go live every Wednesday at 10 a.m. Mountain Time to take junk, discarded items, whatever we can use to turn into home decor. Um, we recently did craft kits. Sure. <laughs> um, and we may have, if you missed out on last quarter's craft kits, I think we will have a few extra. Yeah, I'll we will grab put it and up. show you. Um, and we'll show you where these came from. But we made these craft kits, and when Zeb made them, he said, but Jamie, there's going to be all these leftover squares. We can't waste that. And I said, don't you worry about it. We're going to sell the squares, and we're going to find out what to do with them. So this right. is where these squares came from. So this was the craft kit, and the squares come from this cutout right here. Uh, and we have, like, 500 of them, <laughs> maybe more. <laughs> so I thought they'd be great for like ornaments, wall plaques, whatever. We're gonna be working on making some magnets because we also happen to have some leftover magnets from doing flowers for dances. So mm. Cooper and Odelia like to make their own um, corsages and boutonnieres. And so we have all these magnets Cooper took left a class, over. And so every time before a, like a dance where you like Sadie's or Morp or prom or homecoming they come over here and they make flowers oh. <laughs> so like we're going to be here. just playing with little square shape we actually did list them so if you like what we do and you want to buy your own you can get five of these for three dollars and 95 cents um ivy's is on here dropping links and if you're new here um you can buy all the paint and products at jamierayvintage.com including our new junk in there shirts yeah i these like just it it's looking in. good in black we had them in um, we had them in sweatshirt for over the winter, and we just got our t-shirts in for spring and summer. So we have them in sea green, and Zeb's is a heather black. He didn't want the sea green. I don't know. The sea green's fine. It's fantastic. So tell them what you did there, and I'm going to get started. I'm just going to be gluing molds to these and get started painting. Okay, so Jamie just wants to make magnet boards out of a lot of these. Uh, or you could do like little coasters. There's tons of different things. They're the right size. You could even cut them down if you've got the ability to do that. Round the tops, crop the corners at like a 45 so that they're uh, nice and not square. I was octagonal. I was like, are you having a word situation? No, hexagonal. Wait. Nah, I can't oh, forget my shirt. Ivy got one of the sea green and she loves it. I got to go back to kindergarten. I wanted something bright and fun for summer and I just thought this color would be good. Plus, I look good in oh, jewel tone, so that's, that's my jam. All right, I'm just going to take these are actually leftover. Every time we pour resin, we have leftover. Do we have enough glue? Yeah, let me go get you some actual glue. You yeah, because that's that. not going to work. My wood glue is running low. I'm going to need it all. We always have a little bit of resin left over, so Zeb will pour some that we don't need, and so we have a little baggie of them. So if you guys love to use the IOD molds and you're pouring resin, don't ever waste any leftovers. Just pour extras. Keep them in a bag. We're good to go. Well, maybe we hey, have Hey, Jane, glue. I have missed you. I was actually, we were just talking about you and Les. We hadn't seen Les in a minute. I need to message her to make sure she's okay. All right. Are you looking for glue, Zeb? Yeah. I know I had a big old thing of it, but we're going to have to resort to uh, the big mamma jamma here. That's all right. We're going old school with the construction adhesive. Is it not working? It will be in a second. I can use uh, super glue too. No. We're gonna, it's going to come out and explode on me here. Hold, please. I'm just going to use super glue. All right. So I'm going to, I want to do one with two bees and a crown because I happen to have a crown because it's like queen bee. And I'm going to get, I also have one that have got this like bow. So I thought I'd do a bow and. All right. Some glue is coming out. If you need me to, flower. where do you need it? I'll squeeze it on there for you. I, I'm good. I got I got super glue. Mm, that's not going to work that well. You don't think so? No, it won't dry quick enough. Okay. You put the glue on and then I'll... You got to get the glue all over. Now it's going to be all over my finger. I'm just having to really squeeze. This has been sitting in there and it's dried out a little bit. It's fine. It won't take long. This construction adhesive also comes in... We have a small tube somewhere. Small tubes. I don't know where it got off to. Ivy, can you find the um, mold that has the bees in it and link that? So if you guys are new here, these are made from IOD molds. We just use a two-part resin that we also sell. You could also use our air-dried clay. Um, and it makes these beautiful molds. The nice thing about doing resin is that... I can paint this and wax it and I can do it right away. Whereas if I was using clay, 
then I like to let it dry quite a bit before I start doing waxing because it mushes the clay. And it, I usually have to wait like at least half a day to overnight before I can wax it. Yeah. Well, that's getting to be a mess. Watch so I'm just out. just making little designs here. This one's already painted copper. I need a B on. Yeah, I don't know what I was doing with that. I'm just putting glue on everything you brought out because we have a lot of these little boards. I wasn't, I wasn't ready for you to use everything that I it's brought okay. out. It's okay. It won't dry up that fast. Okay. You got like 10-ish minutes. He's like, I mean, he's like, we were going to get these projects done. I told him, I'm like, we can't do anything that we have to finish after the live because after the live, we've got to do yard work. Last week, I spent another few hours finishing that rocking horse, which if you have not seen the finished rocking horse, we shared it in last week's Thursday shop tour. I will try to share some more pictures of it. Last week's Waste Not Wednesday turned out so great. And everybody that comes in the shop has been giving us compliments on it. So that's been fun. And I'm happy to just get it out of my garage. Well, we were talking about it last night. Like, what are we going to do for Waste Not Wednesday? We can never top the horse. <laughs> the horse, the horse, of course, of course. Well, the nice thing about this is not everybody has a horse, but... Everybody can have these rectangles for the low, low price of $3.95 for five. <laughs> you know what I need is you're going to have to pour me some leaves maybe. Okay. Maybe some little leaves on Give here. Give me a sec. I got to get my, yeah, I got to get one box together. You're good. I'm so the just... reason they come in sets of five is if you have the ability to cut the sides down, or even if you don't, the sides could be a little tall. You can glue yourself up a little box pretty quickly and easily. And I'm making a mess of this one, but that way, or you can just have, uh, you know, five little coasters or, or cut them down square. We're not going to be cutting them down for you or putting any shapes in there for you. But most of you that I know of are pretty crafty have the glue? and have access to tools and a miter saw would make quick work of these in just any shape you need them to be. This hot glue? You want no, this I need glue? you to glue that one. Oh, this one. Do you have any questions? You mean the carousel horse? Isn't that what I said? Horse? Yeah, the horse, the carousel horse. The carousel horse. It turned out really good. The problem with the carousel horse is that it's on top of a giant piece of furniture that's sold that's being picked up this week. So I've got to get something else done to put in that piece's place. I have some furniture in the barn, but nothing quite as big. So I maybe need to buy something because I like to have a big piece there. I decided I might do, there's a piece in the you barn that's that like fingers. got really pretty handles. Yeah. I'm going to get, after this, I'm going to be working in the dirt. So I'm going to have dirty, muddy, gluey hands. <laughs> I'm going to need a manicure. But anyways, I was just saying, oh, I, I have a piece that I might be working on for Friday. We'll see. Let me get out of the garage. We have some big pieces of furniture in the garage. Yeah, but not as big as that bar that we sold. That bar is huge. The bar is big. Oh, I don't know about... I, th I did, forgot that this was domed. Is that looking going to look weird? Yeah, it's weird, huh? It's a little weird. It's a little weird. What's, your, this piece is just going to go down here. Sorry. Now I got to wipe that off. Hello, Vicky. All right. So I've got a little box here. We're just gonna, I'm gonna glue one more up cause I cut enough to do two, two boxes. Okay, so this, this is from the frames IOD mold. This is from the cameo IOD mold. We have the roses one. And then I think we had Fleur de Lis and I think that's where all those came from if I remember correctly. Maybe Ivy, would you just link if you would the entire iod mold collection because there's a lot of them there are. like they have a mold for every style okay. all right so i have one random little uh crown i guess i could put it on here we'll just do we'll just do it like this i won't leave me leaves in sometimes art doesn't have to make sense right like does it have to be realistic I can have flowers and a crown together. I think so. Well, I'm going to do it. So. Okay, what these are going to get is, Jane says, I was excited to see that the bar counter piece was sold. I can't stop wanting it. It is a really cool piece. <laughs> you know what's the best part about that piece is, 
I thrifted it. I what was it like a hundred dollars? Something like that. Yeah. And I sold it for six hundred dollars. And it's still a great deal to whoever, well, I know who bought it, but to the lady that bought it because it was custom made and I looked them up and they actually sell for like $2,500. So I made a profit. I didn't have to do nothing. And the person buying it got it at a great price. That's why you always got to be junking so you can source all the good stuff. People always ask, they're like, how come people come to you instead of just going to DI? You could go to DI and find zero things. We we go to the thrift store every week, sometimes multiple times a week. So and we're it constantly is pretty sourcing. rare that we don't do anything to it, like on a piece that size. No, that one just happened to be good. But we're constantly sourcing stuff and we're pick, cherry picking all the best things. So then people come to us because they know that they're going to get the cherry picked. It's curated. It's curated. That's right. And I'm going to start with white. Do we have white here? Um, there should be some white swan it's vintage right there. linen, but do we have vintage. white? Vintage linen is a nice. Oh, you know, I can start with sandy blonde. I'm gonna start with sandy blonde. I forgot. I washed the brushes and put them up. I don't know why I did that. This one here might need a clamp. Do we have a rubber band? I have a hair tie in my hair. I don't want to steal your hair tie. Well, I wasn't offering it. I was just letting you know that's what I got. So <laughs> these are going to get four little magnets on the back and we tested them. They will hold up. If we need to, we can always add an extra one. What happened to those clamps I had out yesterday? Are they over here? They are. What's I sure? Denise, I am wearing a large. Zeb's wearing an extra large. I'm a solid 180 pounds these days. So I should give you sizing. I like to say I'm an athletic 180. You know, I'm not a fluffy 180. You're thickletic. I'm thickletic. That's right. Because weight doesn't always carry the same. All right, I'm going to be using this brush. This is the perfectionist. We call that curvy around here. And I just got it yesterday, and I used it on a bunch of projects, and it worked pretty good. I just opened it up. We got a new one. Okay, so this one is being stubborn somehow. Oh, wasn't. I don't know why I painted the inside of that. Sorry. Cut quite square. It's probably on me when I was shaping it on the miter saw when I was cutting it down to size because these ends. So what I did to get these sides is I just cut probably about an inch and a half. I, all I did was I dropped it down in here like this for the side and I cut it right there so that I knew how wide I needed it to be. If these don't sell online, I'm going to have to get one of Jack's magnet boards and take it to the shop so we can put the magnets on there. <laughs> display them all right i don't think i'm gonna paint the edges because i'm going to maybe paint those a different color to make it look like it's framed i may regret that later because it would be simpler to just paint them all one color but i gotta make things comp complicated we gotta give them ideas well i'm trying we also waste not wednesday wednesday is all about showing them one what color. not to do <laughs> little we make the mistakes here for you first that's right. You, you saw the mistake here first. Don't forget that. Jamie Ray Vintage. All right. That one's painted. Um, I don't know where I'm going after this with these, but we'll figure it out. You just, you got to base coat everything anyways, because the MDF soaks everything up. So. I'm going to go cut a couple of these just super quick. And just leave me here by myself. For just a second, just to kind of give you an idea for like magnet boards or even like little black chalk boards for your like little notes. Um, I will be right back. I'm just going to go dog ear at the tops of these. Are you guys doing garden chairs? Really big thing. We're going to be doing some chairs here pretty quick because I have a whole bunch of chairs that Zeb is giving me a hard time about. Mostly they're on a shelf in the barn. But yeah, we're going to probably do a bunch of chairs. I don't know about garden chairs, but we'll see. Maybe we'll just paint them fun colors. What Since we can start spraying now that it's warmer, we might use some of the cottage colors, the Jamie Ray vintage ones. We have the three new ones that are coming out that we got to play around with. So that would be fun. What kind of chairs are you talking about? I think she's talking about the kind of chairs that you like paint bright colors or fun colors and you put pots on them and sit them in your garden. Kind of like yard art. And I got chairs for days. I don't know why, but I am a chair hoarder. At least now we have the barn and there's like a big second tier shelf thing. And it kind of hides the volume of chairs that I have because they're up there. 
because chairs are hard to stack. They like take up a lot of space. I'm just stuffing some paint like kind of underneath the mold where it's sticking up. I know this probably isn't very exciting because this is very close to the color that these were to begin with. But I promise you it's a nice neutral base. When do your new colors come out? I don't know, actually. I don't have an official date. The warehouse sent us the samples to start playing with. Like we picked out the colors when we went to Debbie's a few months ago. And we're just waiting for them to make a bunch of it and get the labels in and on the cans. And then once they can launch to the retailers and they get mailed out, then we'll get a resale date. Debbie usually likes to make sure all the retailers have them. And then we launch. Um, we launched them to the public, so we'll see how that goes. We need them to do really well, so tell your friends because it, we need to show the warehouse that these are going to be worth the investment. Because the way it works is like they, the warehouse manufactures the paint and they buy all the products and stuff. And then as it sells, and then we make a profit, Debbie makes a profit, and then they recoup their investment. And so the warehouse isn't going to give us new colors unless they can see that it's worth the investment. So I got to work really hard at selling this color. So I'm hoping I can get my Facebook page back because that would be nice to promote on my Facebook page. All right. So I went and dog-eared this one. I just cut it at a 45 angle, like a half inch, a half inch off of the uh, tops here. And then this one I did the same thing to. And then I took some 80 grit on the sander just really quick. With 80 grit, it took like, how long was I gone? Uh, and this has got a nice domed top. Were you this asking me fun. how long you were gone? If you had some air dry clay, you could even do like a border around this. Um, and it would flex really nice, let that dry up. It would be really cool. You're supposed to be getting your shirt dirty. We were going to take oh, a picture little, I can hose it up. It's just sawdust. Looks like headstones. <laughs> That's funny. Um, I painted or, these with sandy blonde. Or it's a tag for a Christmas tree. Oh my gosh, they'd be so cute just on presents too. Headstones or a tag? I want to make tags. I need a bunch of those. A bunch of those. Ne All right. Next. All right, I'm going to heat gun these so I can get to the next color. Jane says she loves Debbie's sister's um, little cottages they've been showing. They're really cute. We're excited as soon as we get, so this is the way our summer's going. We've got the front yard pretty well irrigated, right? We're gonna finish that up today and get things planted. All I've gotta do is smooth the dirt out and reseed. <clears throat> oh, we're putting sod. Are we doing sod or seed? I think seed because the holes are pretty well filled up and not all of the grass that I dug up died. I, I basically cut like a two inch swath and a okay. lot of the grass just went right back where it was. So we need to maybe put down some topsoil and seed because I feel like the topsoil helps hold it down. Yeah, we'll need to go get some and fill in some hot, some low spots and rake it out. You know, it's going to so be a gonna situation. So we're going to do that today and we're going to plant all the flower beds. And then tomorrow we're working on the garden irrigation because we've got to get our garden in probably next week. And then we're going to do our back patio. So we'll probably do a little patio video and then we're going to start the cottage. So we'll have some cottage videos too. Um, it'll be fun. Our cottage videos are going to be a little more involved because we didn't buy anything moving ready. <laughs> We're renovating um, an old, basically a couple old sheds that used to be the Bishop Storehouse. Okay, so here it is. Like, dry. When she says sheds, these are like cement block buildings. One was built like in the late 1800s, and one was built in like 1917. And the the one that the part that was built in 1917, they just butted it up against the old part, and and it's, a big crack it's like in the a middle. big building now, one big 500 square foot building. It's where Harrington was staying. I want to put a rock facade on it to make it look like an English cottage and to cover up all the... If we get the property, we could do rocks Did you just property. touch me with your no, cake I made, batter I made sure. hand? I made sure. I didn't cake batter you. We could get... I don't know... So that... if you don't know what we're talking about property, you know, the beans were all spilled. Apparently I spilled them Saturday. No, they I said it was even, me. I don't even remember. We just um, put an offer on 48. Years. Anyway, we put an offer in yesterday and they have until five o'clock to either accept it or counter or tell us no. 
Um, and before you think, oh my gosh, they must be doing real beansy well. Uh, it's like the cheapest 40 acres you're going to find in the entire state of Utah. It's actually cheaper than two acres just down the road. Yeah, it's <laughs> half of it's up a mountain. There's not actually a road to it. And it is. No, we had to hike there. like a solid 20 acres from the closest <laughs> two bit horse trail road. It's a real fixer upper. <laughs> just to get to there. And it has zero uh, amenities, utilities, or otherwise. But anyways, it has a lot of rocks on it, is what Zeb's saying. But I'm thinking we'll just use faux rocks because I don't know that I'm ready to dig rocks out of the side of the mountain and trek them across the non-existent road. That's how we get a road. I'm just going to dry over here. Zeb just wants to use a bulldozer. But bulldozer. Sorry. Carol, thank you. Um, I think uh, Ivy not, just dropped a link to our shirts. Should we get it? It is not high on the priority list. No, it's it's one of those like hold on to it. We bought property last year, a couple acres in the middle of nowhere. We're still not doing anything with that. But that's you know you got to buy have plans that might end up here. being being lucrative. And if we can't sell that probably next year for a profit, then we might just use it for ourselves. Yeah. The goal is, if you guys don't know, we're trying to buy a piece of the cheapest property in Utah every year and improve it and flip it. <laughs> we will see how that goes. So far, we can't keep up with the church property that we've got. Yeah, he keeps having all these grand plans. Sorry, I, in case you're wondering what I'm doing, I decided I wanted some texture to my board, so I'm just stippling some sandy blonde on there. Oh, Denise says, sorry for bringing that up. I just heard you say something about 40 years. It's all right. It, we don't have any secrets. Well, I guess we have a few. We just, you know, we, we were going to wait until we had something more solidified to tell people about it. But apparently we already did and didn't even know. Well, and if, if we, we talked don't about get it, it Saturday, that was before we had even gone and looked at it. If we don't get it, it's fine, too. It's not the end of the world. Yeah. It's, it's just a like good opportunity forward. that not many people will jump at because it does need like if you can't diy it it would be probably a couple hundred thousand dollars hundreds of thousands of dollars to improve it enough just to put a cabin on it yeah just, <laughs> just to get cabin, a road out there just to get it ready <laughs> for a cabin and then you got to put all the utilities so. but since we can diy a lot of it ourselves that significantly like reduces our upfront one costs. property for each kid Psh, ain't nobody giving us property jamie did mention she's like you know what we're doing here we're building wealth for our children <laughs> <laughs> when i die until we're, then because we're, they will build we're looking wealth. at this property we're like 20 years from now this might be worth quite a bit of money <laughs> i know anyways what we, ramona said she bought the pink basket yesterday that reminds me all of the home decor antique and thrift finds on the website are 20% off until the 9th at midnight. We're doing a Mother's Day sale. We never do this. Like, I think last time we had anything on sale was possibly Black Friday, but I think that was just in store. So online, 20% off. So if you've been waiting for something, check out those collections. Um, or if you're local, you can come into the shop and see everything in person and peruse. Um, and that sale is going to run, run until next Tuesday. So we just want to give ourselves enough time to ship it out um unless it gets way crazy then it might be a little delayed but we're trying to get everybody's orders out in time for mother's day so what all is included in the home decor is that like does that include candles and the fabrics and stuff or are those separate no those are in home decor and so pretty much most of what we got but DIY supplies except for crafting stuff and clothes is on sale right now pretty much 20 percent okay. off so okay I mean, it's not like you're not going to save a million dollars, but we're not a big box company. So 20% is what we got for you. I just thought it'd be fun. Mother's Day's coming and maybe you just buy a gift for yourself. I ordered myself some purple Birkenstocks. They're coming for my Mother's Day gift. And I also frequently shop our store. That's People are like, how do you know what to buy? Because people come in and they're like, I just love all the stuff you sell. I'm like, I buy everything that I love and mostly things that I can't find other places. I'm like, oh, I can't find this, but I really want it. And so then I carry it. I feel like you told this story yesterday. Yeah? Yeah. It's fine. There's <laughs> new people here. 
There's people that already forgot what happened yesterday that didn't know what they ate for I'm breakfast. I'm surprised I haven't forgot what happened yesterday. Okay, I need a blue color. Do we have a blue color that's not apothecary? We have one. I want to do mm, maybe down in the sample jar sizes. Okay. Because we've I got a bunch of sample jars down there. <clears throat> Let me see. Can you grab the other heat gun? I'm going to steal yours for now. Oh, there's a bunch of crinoline. I love crinoline. Yeah, We're going to pull some of these pizza. little squares together and see what we get. I got my water lily, but I wanted like a darker blue. What do we have? Maybe so I'm going to do some stenciling on my squares, my blocks. And then we also have some of the new rice paper here. This is the birds. I'm going to do a couple birds. This is, I would say, this is a front runner for the most popular paper with the cows print, the pastoral cows. It's called Cows by the River on the website. Um, and the link for this is in the description for the rice paper. Um, but these are those two are probably our most popular I have probably sold as many of those as i have the rest of the papers <laughs> well that's not true i've sold quite a bit of the other ones too the can you find me something to wear to my granddaughter's wedding is it casual or dressy jane oh we did restock the eggplant maxi dresses the, that were sold purple out maxi dresses i need to open that please okay i got this one open we restocked those. Ivy, what else came in? We restocked a bunch of Boy, shirts. This is glued on there. All right, I've got old 57. That's thick. Some thick water lily. It says blue iris, but it's not. That's why we have it here because we got the mist. We got things that break open. This one has paint all over it. Waste not, want not. You got to use all the things. Can you open that one for me too? Um, yeah. Dressy night wedding. Oh, I'm not good at dressy. Fancy. Yeah. I'm like, I got casual and casual. I just went to my niece's wedding. It was basically out on a farm and I wore a denim jumper and it was perfect. Oh, and the Raven apron. That's like the, is, is the Raven apron the striped one? That one's restocked too. I thought that the ruffle aprons would be the most popular, but those striped ones, the pinafore looking ones, those are the most popular. We have a hard time keeping them in stock. Tomorrow's shop tour is going to be fun because we have lots of new products to show off. All right, I'm just mixing up water lily with crinoline and old 57 because I wanted a blue shade. I just need to find the right stencil here. It's like oh. a big chunk of water lily here. I'm smushing that in. What? What are you stenciling your box? Um, not yet. I got to paint those. Or I will stencil coffin. the box. Can yeah. you drill a hole in the top of that? Yes, I can. And we're done. That way you can make tags. Those will be cute. Thank you, Kate or Ivy. I wanted. I need to get one of those jumpsuits too and try them on. They're like the rompers situations. I think they have pockets too. I've been bad about not buying a lot of clothes at the, for the shop, but I recently cleaned out my closet at home and that inspired me to buy some things that looked comfy for summer. Because I recently gained some weight and I've accepted the fact that if I do lose weight, it's gonna take me a while. So I got rid of a bunch of stuff that just was too tight. And so I just wanted all kinds of comfy stuff to wear. All right, I have made now prom queen. <laughs> but I, I didn't have it handy, so it's fine. The water lily, old 57, crinoline. Perfect. I'm come stipple this on here. Look away, I'm gonna use these scissors like a pry bar. Why do we never have scissors? Why are they always broke? Now we know. I'm just stippling this on here. I'm not worried about full coverage because I'm going to wet distress and then we're going to white wax these and maybe dark wax when or maybe I'll whitewash clear wax then dark wax. I just wanted a fun layered technique. Well, we talked about yesterday. Sometimes the best tool is the one that's always already in your hand. You got to just keep going. You're going to kind of go dig through the drawer for the other tool. This is going to need to be decoupaged eventually. I don't know why I keep slapping paint on it because I got to put white there. 
So I need a little teeny piece of decoupage paper that'll fit in my mini frame. Like a little teeny tiny one? Mm -hmm. How big? That. Like just like um, this one. Oh, I might have a bird, like the head of a bird, like the corner of it That'd that'll be fit fine. in there. Just letting you know. So if you find one in your okay. travels, if you need, I do have this lovely shade of blue that's up for grabs. Can I have my heat gun back? Yep. You know, we have two working heat guns now. We have four heat guns, two that kind of work and oh, two that really camera? work. Oh, yes. I do it, but I'm not allowed to touch the camera for not allowed. obvious reasons. If anybody's ever seen me mess with it. Well, we've been having lots of technical difficulties the last like couple of screens, and it hasn't even been on us. Oh, you know what I could do? I could just put some of the uh, a transfer in it. We have a, that English toile. We have some leftover from yesterday. You know what nobody bought? That English toile planter that I did is so cute. So maybe I it might have sold, but if it didn't, somebody should scoop we'll that up. We'll show tomorrow whatever didn't sell. Yeah, everything that didn't sell, we'll show tomorrow, and then we'll stage it around the shop. So I'm just heat gunning my blue shade so I could do my white wash next. Well, I'm not going to do it while we're live. But what I will do to make them look more finished is I'm going to paint the edge and the back. And these, because they're going to be kind of labor intensive and special, these magnets are going to be about $20 each. Make sure if you are hand making items and using a ton of products and layers and all those things, make sure you are charging enough for them. I mean, maybe $14.95. Oh, you those know, have a lot of molds. They have a lot of molds, and I'm going to do another few layers of stuff. They're going to be like little works of art. Mine won't be that much. I'm just stenciling. Don says, I think that's the one I bought. Oh, I would be happy if you did buy it. Let me see. Hold, please. And everything is 20% off. So if you want something at a deal, like it's a good time. See my little clock still available, the big shelf, the urn with the molds, one of Zeb's frames. Oh, yeah, I don't see that on there. So, yeah, it must have sold. You did buy it. I just have a couple of my painted boxes still available. So, yeah, a lot of things. Did your clock sell? Yeah, I think your clock sold, Zeb. Nice. Oh, nope. There it is. Sorry. I lied. Be all right. We got to get some more stuff painted before the sale. The good news is it's going over the weekend. So don't miss out on our Saturday thrift haul because we're going to price it like we normally do. But then you're going to be able to get 20% off. It's going to be like the hunger games of the quality junk. Vicky says, I bought the pastoral bin a few weeks ago for our card box at Hannah's graduation party. Ooh, the bin or was it a tote, Vicky? I think it was a tote. And I actually really, really love that one. We're not doing a graduation party for Odelia because she's graduating. And the next morning, we're waking up at the bum crack of dawn to take her to Hawaii. I can't, I can't do. All oh, my mom called me this morning. Yeah. She said she really wanted to come to graduation, but... She's been having some really bad health issues, um, and so she's not, she's not, and she has an appointment on the seventeenth to follow up and hopefully find some more answers. But she's just not feeling well with that thing that's been going on with her heart. Well, and also, is it Maddie having a baby? Yeah, but she hey. said she was going to come anyway because Maddie's probably being induced like next week. Oh, really? She get yeah. induced early? Yeah, because she doesn't want to go two weeks over like she did with Evelyn and have another ten pound kid. Yeah, Evelyn was kind of giant. It's all right. They live far away, so it makes it kind of hard. All right. I need a cup. I went for red, and I got story Yeah, time. I needed a cup. Okay. I don't know where that came from with your mom. Oh, like, I didn't I was, think you were talking about anyways. graduation, and it popped into my head. I talked to her this morning about it. Oh, gotcha. While I was milk and butter cup. I'll get you a cup. Hey, Leslie. The Moody clock sold because I went to buy it and it was gone. 
We'll try to do some more moody stuff. All right, so I've got crinoline and water, and I'm oh, going to wash this. Oh, you just got a this. copper cup. <laughs> I got you a red one, but... You took too long. Okay. It's fine. The paint will wash out. It's DIY. Yesterday, Where I got a bunch I of say? DIY paint. Oops, I'm probably going to get I grabbed some marquee, I thought. Oh, here it is. So I might do crinoline on the back so it matches. Maybe. This takes like four good squeezes. We're going to let that sit. And then I'm going to hopefully distress back to a little of the sandy blonde. We'll see what happens. We'll see if this happens the way I want it to. This isn't one of ours. This is one that I thrifted. Not that it makes it okay, but it's like a buck. Everything in the kitchen is at risk of being used for art supplies. It's okay. Nicole says, love the junk in air shirts. Thank you. It's actually a Jamie Ray vintage coin phrase. You heard it here first. I haven't like trademarked it, but can't you like prove that you said it first and then trademark it if you want to? I mean, I don't know that there's people knocking at my door trying to take it from me, but yeah. And I do get lots of compliments every time I wear something that says junk in air or I love junk to the thrift store because those are my people. Or if I'm out just like junking at a market. So you can wax stuff, like I could have white waxed these, but I like washing because it's just kind of a different effect. Just looks like the paint's been on there and it's washed off over the years. Next up, heat gun. Trying to make a brown. Hey Kai, you're here on a Wednesday. Thanks for being here on a Wednesday. Y'all should put a spring bow in Buttercup's poof of hair. Um, well, she's Zeb's cow, so we'll see. I don't know if he'd let me. I don't know if she'd enjoy that. She's pregnant. She's kind of grumpy. She's not super grumpy. She just, she has her moments. She's moderately grumpy. I'll show you this up close once I get the the wash dried off because I stippled it. It gave some texture for this to sit down in, which I like a lot. All right, that's, a, to get that's a that gray brown. That'll work. That's cute. All right. Patricia says, don't mess with the first time mama to be. She's actually calved twice. This is her she? this is her third go round. Yeah. yeah. She's she's six years old now. Yeah, we knew that's why we bred her with a little jersey because we knew she kind of had a struggle and we wanted to make it easy on her. All right. This is where we're at right now. So that's why I did a wash, so just kind of sit down and everything. I'm going to let the, the little bit of wash that I didn't get too dry. Then I'm going to wet distress it. And then we'll get some clear and dark wax out. Maybe we'll get some metallics. You just never know. Leah says cute. Thank you, Leah. Okay. I'm going to come show you this one. Pretty. I did like a four tone on this. So this is one of our new JRV stencils that comes in the label pack. What is it like French fruit label pack? Uh, the French, yes, the French fruit labels. Ivy, can you drop the link to the Fr French fruit labels? I don't know if you can see it, but I did the whole thing in white. And so it's got, and then I just shifted it a little bit. And so it's got like this little white halo around everything. And I'm going to go drill a hole in the top like Jamie wanted. So yeah, we, we have can, ribbon. We have velvet ribbon. So we ribbon. can see what it's going to look like as a tag. It'd be so cute with a bunch of ribbon like tied like it through looks, it and then put on a little tote. I feel like it looks less like a coffin. I'm going to need about 42 more of those, Zeb. Okay. Because I'm in love with the tag.
I like the crinoline. It's a nice soft wash and not quite so like jarring. When will the melange inlay come in? Are we sold out? Ivy, are we sold out of melange? Luckily, Ivy's working today. She's our, she's normally, um, it's Caitlin, but Ivy does our purchasing. I just bought more. They are in stock. Perfect. Debbie, if you head over to the website, we have more in stock. Well, I was trying to avoid Thank goodness for Ivy the back. because she keeps us in stock on all the things. Because we had to wait for me to do it. It could be a hot minute. Ask my kids. They're like, hey, mom, I need this, this, and this. And I'm like, oh, I'll get it. It doesn't always happen. Yesterday, happen. we were out of grated cheese. You'd have thought that uh, the kids were all going to die. So I did get more grated cheese. So <laughs> Frederick was wet. trying to make nachos. Eliza was trying to do a grilled cheese. They had to Jack use wanted a quesadilla. Cheese. And they're like, oh, having to use sliced cheese. I'm like, guys, you'll be all right. All right, so I'm just wet distressing, bringing back some of that blue, but we're also getting some of the sandy blonde underneath, which is what I was going for. So maybe I can show you. Some of these details are really hard to see unless you see it in real life. Um, but here you go. So underneath that blue, there's a little bit of sandy blonde peeking out. I'm going to do a little bit more. I think I'm going to wash this again. I don't like how too much of it came off. That's the thing. If you start distressing, you're like, oh, that's a little too much off the top. It's all right. You could just paint it back. All right. So I feel like we definitely went less coffiny on this and more like gift tag. These would be cool just to make tags for around the shop for stuff that's like got a permanent price that we have multiples of that we don't want to tag 800 small things. Yes, or I was telling him it would be cute if we tied it to a tote. I'm going to paint the inside of that little frame so that way we can decoupage it. So I will hand that over to you. Okay. I'm going to pass the baton because you're going to, are you decoupaging that box next? Yep. I got to get it glued up though. My paint's all watery because I got water in the top. So now I got to. Can you keep it up? We'll do a side by side heat then. Brandy says, right? I have a whole drawer dedicated to cheese. And Ivy says she loves to shop. You know what? You can tell Jordan that he's welcome. So you guys might not know this, but Ivy's husband is an accountant. He happens to be our accountant. And he likes to, you know, Keep track of money because that's what accountants do and so i'm sure he appreciates that ivy gets a little bit of her shopping fix from shopping for the shop <laughs> i feel like it does work because i buy way less stuff because i still even though ivy shops for us i do quite a bit of shopping for the store it kind of fills that need okay that once it's dry is ready to take a posh okay do you have some little ribbon for that i do but I don't want to put it on until we're all done and it's... Oh, do you want to wax it? The wax, wax. is just right over well, there. Well, I will in a minute. Let me... Let me finish this. Is that dry? Oh, you got my heat gun. Uh, well, Why do you I keep, keep forgetting it? every time I go there. over there. <laughs> I don't, I'll go get one right now because I don't think we have any decoupage medium out. No liquid patina. Uh, e says, I'm watching an old video of yours from four years ago, Backyard Makeover. I love your bangs in that video. You know what? Bangs were very controversial. Uh, my, my kids said I look like Dora the Explorer. They and also there were a lot of people like that was like, you have a great forehead. Why cover it up? It hides your eyes, all those things. I probably won't have bangs again, only just because they require more effort than I'm willing to exude on my hair. I'm more of a messy bun braid, side pony curl it once a week girl and like having to do my bangs every day it's not about that life i don't have that kind of time thank you look at you all right cool. after i get done drying these i'm going to clear wax dark while you're over there can you give me the clear wax dark wax and some brushes Oh, Ivy says that she has been using headbands because she regrets her bangs. Ivy's bangs are really cute. All 
I guess you can use this little brush with dark wax. What? Yeah. And then I need to, eventually I'm going to need gold wax, but I can do that. So I'm just trying to get all. You know, we got a lot of stuff dry. out here. <laughs> it takes a lot of products to get perfection, okay? I forgot to wet distress this one. All right, let me get my. I don't know why I'm bird. holding that up in the air. Which is the top? Is Oh, this is the top. That construction adhesive does dry fast. This is actually really good to do things like this too, because now I'm coming up with ideas for larger pieces. They're almost like little sample boards. And then the next time I go to a big piece, do a big piece, I'll be like, oh, I remember that time I did this layer and this layer and this layer, and it turned out really good. Okay. Clear wax. Where did I go with that pencil I had out? Oh, it's right here. So I'm going to clear wax these. I am just in case people are freaking out because they're messy. When I'm no longer live and I have a clean space to work with, I will paint these on the back and along the edge with crinoline and wax them. So that way they are nice and neat. And then I will glue on my magnets. It's just hard to set things down when they've been painted when you have this going on. So it's just easier to do it when everything's all cleaned up. This is gonna make that blue like a lot brighter too. It's very Frenchy blue. Emma says one project leads into another. It's a great thing. Exactly. Little projects help bring about big projects. By small and simple things, great things are brought to pass. All right. Oh, are you decoupaging that? Yeah, okay. this, I'll wax this bird's anyway. about to become a bust. Did you bring me this for the dark wax? The little one, yeah. You always want to make sure when you're decoupaging that you've got a lighter color underneath. It doesn't have to be like super light, but it does help. So clear waxed. I've got a paper towel here. I actually don't know where that came from, but I'm going to use that. And then I'm going to dark wax my little molds here. And wipe back. Somebody asked me the other day if we wash our rags. I do. I'm not telling you that it's good for your um, your washer because I don't really know. But I use OxyClean and I triple rinse them. Like there's a rinse and then I do a pre-wash and an extra rinse. And they come pretty clean. I actually have a load of rags in right now. But if it waxes up your washing machine, you didn't hear it from me. If your husband or plumber complains, do not mention Jamie Ray Vintage. All right, so liquid patina for the decoupage. This is just our uh, A4 rice paper. It's cute. I'll show it to you in a minute. The amount done. there. Here, I can show it to you this way, but we'll give you an up close. I do think it is going to need some gold wax. I think I'm on product five right now. Paint product, not even including the glue and the resin and the molds. Okay. Oh, that's cool. I'll let it dry out. I'm going to go put this outside and then I'll give you the close up so that you can appreciate On it. your way back, would you bring me the gold wax and something to Actually, I have a little brush. I see the gold wax. Thank you. Yep. Man, it smells like spring out there. Everybody has mowed their grass. All the trees are in bloom. We need to fertilize our lawn. Just you know what you could do is literally just take some of Buttercup's stuff and just sprinkle it all over the lawn. Mm, be great. It's hard to get it in sprinkle form. Well, you've been mixing <laughs> it in with dirt. Sure. I want some of that dirt. I need like a tur like a mulch turner. Oh, is there another tool you'd like for me to buy? Yeah. I'll get right on that. I can probably DIY it with a 50 gallon barrel. Zeb is a tool guy. If there's a job, he's got a tool for it. 
you know, the bigger our projects get, the more I'm like, I need more tools. Heather, I am actually just using some leftover MDF from the craft kit and I am making magnets and Zeb is making tags and a box with them. So that's what we're doing today. We're playing with paint techniques, showing you guys how to layer on the waxes and the colors. All right, now I'm just wiping this dark wax off and then I will basically dry brush on gold wax to the high spots to bring this look home. And then these will be done until after our live video, I'll paint the backs or I'll, maybe I'll flip this up to a clean surface because I'm gonna paint the backs. And we used IOD molds and resin that I actually already had poured. Okay. I'm gonna show them to you before the gold wax, just in case you're not a fan of gold. We're practicing paint techniques. We've got this one. How pretty would these be? just on your fridge or your dishwasher or a magnet board. Or you could just lean them up against something. Oh, did you even show them the magnets? Yeah, the little the one with the magnets. magnets glued on. I will. All right, next up, gold. You can make a compost tea and use a sprayer for, oh, you could just put it with water and spray it. Can you do that? Oh, yeah. We have a sprayer. I'd, let's just say I have a ton of compost, a ton. Buttercup eats about 50 to 70 pounds of feed a day, and that all comes out. So <laughs> not quite all of it, but <laughs> hefty amounts. Basically, Zeb's whole life is animal input and output. Pretty much. We do get a lot of eggs and a lot of milk. Yeah, that's what I mean, animal input and output. I'm just doing a little gold around the edge. And on the tops of my molds here, I will bring them up close for you guys to see. What do you think, Zeb? Oh, well, that's cool. It's got like a good halo effect around it. What time is it? 10.57. All right, we got to bring this home. Well, we were a couple minutes late. All right. Well, I'm almost done, so. I mean, other than painting around the edge and hot gluing on the magnets, which really isn't that exciting and pretty self-explanatory. So with the rice paper, a little tip, because we've had, I, I showed the other day, like me brushing and brushing and brushing, but it's paper. If you get it wet for long enough, it will wear out. So if you want it to lay like really nice and flat, do a heavy coat on the bottom, put your paper on top, adhere it down, Walk and then away. a light coat on the top just to get it all wet so it all dries out as decoupage medium through that paper. It'll adhere really great. It'll flatten out really good. And you won't wear the image out and streak all of the, the fibers all over because the rice paper is a little fibrous. I'll show you this one. It's not dry, so it's still got a couple streaks. That'll clear up. But less coffiny, right? Let me see. Once it's dry, I'll put a uh, hole in the I think this top. is the one they thought looked like a coffin. Yeah, that one did. All right, can you show them these? Did you and want then to I'll... see? Yeah, that's cute. I like that one. And we'll do the same. We've got a box. We'll have... Maybe next week we'll do boxes because we didn't get to them this week. And boxes always sell really well for us. Like we make boxes, people put plants in them, they sell. I like the bird ones. All right, where's the one that you decoupage? Is that outside? Yes. Let I me need... get that one finished. Where's the magnet one? The one that has magnets on it? Yeah. I don't know. They got to see the magnets. We just glued four little magnets on the back. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to wax your little tag that you made. Oh, it's not quite dry and I touched it. Oh, Zebulon. I was trying to flatten out a crease. It'll continue to flatten out as it dries. Look at that. How cool is that? Just a little piece of scrap wood 20 minutes ago. Oh, you forgot to paint that side. I'm going to leave that side unwaxed. 
Uh, now you can show them up to this. And that's all from the same paper. And I still have two full birds that I did not cut. And then these fun little elements in the corner. Oh, you forgot to paint this side too. This side and that side. Did I not paint the side? That's all right. The you edges. can show them this. Used cake batter and aviary and what red did you use on that one? Um, now you made me forget. Marquee. Marquee. I will make sure to do a little reel of these later. So if you guys are like, hey, I never see the whole video, make sure you're checking out our short form content. So our reels or our shorts on YouTube. Because typically if we do a big project live, when it's all the way finished, I do a little video of it afterwards, especially our painted thrift flip. So you can really see the items once they're finished. So you get the whole picture. Um, tomorrow will be live at some point, probably earlier because we've got a lot of stuff to do outside. And then Friday, we'll have another Furniture Friday video out. Those are being scheduled on Friday at 5 a.m. Mountain Time, which is like, uh, Six, seven, seven, seven a.m. Seven, seven Eastern. Seven Eastern, four Pacific. Just because not a lot of people know what mountain time is. Every week they're coming out. So if you don't get the notification, you still know you can head over to YouTube or on our Jamie and Zebra Vintage Facebook page and the video will be there. So super excited about that. If you guys want to buy in the paint products, it's jamierayvintage.com. Don't forget that we have a sale. For 20% off our thrifted and home decor. And you antique. Get, and antique. <laughs> Is there anything else? Hold on. I need to take a breath. <laughs> we'll cover it all again tomorrow in oh. the shop tour tomorrow. If you like this video, hit that share button. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to JV Ray Vintage for more. DIY. Love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow.